Good morning, folks. Thought I'd make another video here on some simple things to do that uh, to make your model a little more accurate, or your representation of the model anyway. Um, this is something I didn't, it was very easy to do, and I didn't know how to do it for a long time. But that is adding or changing the library for the switchboards and panel boards, or pretty much anything. It's similar to the breaker, or that uh, adding that number three copper. Um, when, we'll start out here with the panel board. And since I've already done this, it's been a while that I may have some flubs, but bear with me. In the SKM library, it doesn't come, if going from memory, I don't think with a 125 amp panel board or a 200 amp panel board in the library. I don't know why, but I, I run into those often. Yeah, and there was nothing in there for it. You you had to go from 100 to 150. There was no 125 or 150 to 225, and there was no 200. Um, like I said, I already added those to my library, but let's take a look at how to do that. We'll make one that's, I don't know, some made-up amperage. You want to get back in your library, just like you did for the cables. And instead of going into the cable, we're going to go into the cable library. We're going to go into the bus. And I'm going to, let's make a, I don't even, no, let's make a 300 amp panel board. I know there's not such a thing, but we're going to create one. I'm going to control C and control V, and now I've got a, panel board down here a copy of the 250. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to call it 300. And then in the ratings I need to change all these ratings to 300 amp. I don't know if control C and control V works, works for one. It only works one at a time for all of I don't think there is such a thing as a 300 amp rated panel board. Maybe there is. I've never come across one. Certainly you can get uh, 300 amp plugs for trip units for uh, 400 amp breakers. I know that for sure probably can get some panels with a 300 amp main breaker in it. I'm not sure about that. There's a lot of different types of 250 amp panels. I have to do the same thing for the description and for the rating. Continuous rating 300. I wonder if that'll work. Nope. Ah, I didn't want to do that. What did that say? up. Let me get out of here and look at another one. Yes. Rating. Continuous rating amp. Okay. Hmm, maybe I didn't mess up. Trying to take a shortcut and didn't know what I was doing there. Do I have 300s? Yeah, I've got all those 300s I did before down at the bottom. It sorted them automatically by continuous rating. What 
I don't know is I haven't looked at these test X over R ratios to know if they're the same from panel board to panel board to panel board. I'm assuming that for right now. I should have checked that before I made this video. Sorry, you don't have to check it yourself. So I'm just showing you how to, to do this. And let's say that one of, one of my panel boards um, is a really high short circuit rating. I wonder if this will work. And I'm just going to add it. 300 amp. And I'm going to say it's a 240 volt rated panel board. 300 amps there and with a short circuit rating of um, I've already got one. Let's see. 200k. Let's say this one's going to be 500k. With a test X over R 4.8. Okay, now, so when I choose my panel board after I get out of this, I should be able to select 300 and at 500K if this worked properly. Yes. So let's say this panel board is not a 225. I want, it, I want a 300. Yes, now I've got a 300 amp panel. And it is 300 amp panel at 240 volt. 500k. I'm pretty certain that doesn't exist, but at least it exists now in this model. So you do the same thing for this, for the switchboard as you would for adding a panel board. Um, so you can edit, add ratings to your switchboards, available ratings, or add available capacities. I looked at this uh, earlier or something else when I was actually working on another job and it looked like they had about everything in here you would run into. Yeah, they've got a 1,000, 1,200, 1,600, 800. I don't know, 400. I don't think there's anything lower in switchboard construction than a 400 if there even is. I don't think there's a 200 amp switchboard construction. Um, probably is a 600 amp switchboard construction but you, it works the same exact way so now you know how to edit that to where you can uh, make your model a little more accurate if you've got 125 amp panels or 200 amp panels that aren't in the SKM library or if you've got a switchboard that's not in the library you can do it the same way um, it's very it only takes minutes to do so there's no reason not to do that I'm, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know how to do that when I first started learning SKM, so I just stuck a, the closest one I could get in there rather than creating it. So my 200 amp panels, I always put them in at 225, and my 125 amp panels, I usually put those in at 100 or maybe 150, um, but because I didn't have a 200 amp selection, but I got it in there now because I put it in there. So again, if you think if you're finding these videos on the SKM basics helpful, please uh, give me some likes or uh, make a comment below so I know that it's actually helpful and that will give me some incentive to keep making them. Thanks.